Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. Investors are buying Tucson apartment complexes and raising rents. As building upgrades go in, vulnerable tenants say they're being pushed out. So what's being done about it? Rebecca Taylor gets answers in tonight's News for Tucson investigation. Several residents of the Redondo Tower Apartments in downtown say living through the construction is a nightmare and they worry for elderly and homebound residents. A lot of people are here on Social Security, fixed income. I don't have a lot of options. I'm retired. Um, you know, I have arthritis. First came the rent hikes. So three to four hundred dollars a month it's gone up. Then the construction. They're attempting to fully, you know, gut and remodel a building while it's fully occupied. I calculated that I had over 128 hours without water. Residents say the work has resulted in unsanitary living conditions, indoor flooding, sewer issues, and massive water shutoffs for extended periods of time since May. We were told not to use any of the plumbing. What are you guys doing for a restroom? Leaving it all day long. In February, the 96-unit tower was purchased for $27 million by investors, Vertical Street Ventures. The News for Tucson investigators reached out to VSV and MEB property management for answers. Our requests for interviews were denied. Instead, a Phoenix-based public relations firm emailed us a statement. Redondo Towers has repaired the pipe and the water is now fully restored throughout the property. As renovations are currently underway, the Redondo Towers management team will continue to keep its residents informed to ensure safety and comfort during construction. But residents say water disruptions continue. Select units told via email not to use the plumbing between 8.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. Residents can use the community restroom downstairs and get water bottles from the office. I feel like management should at the very least like compensate us for the, the time we've been without basic amenities. In the course of this, too, for five days I was without air conditioning. What bothers me the most is that Rather than move in and make the repairs and then take all the rents up, they moved in, took all the rents up, and just are now making repairs. Redondo Tower will be rebranded Vertical Heights. In a recent podcast, VSV's Kyle Mitchell says each unit will have 70000 in upgrades. You see it today to where it will be in about 24 months. It's going to be a different property. You're not going to recognize it. Uh, they're going to, you know, almost double the rents here is the ultimate goal. And not a lot of people here are not going to be able to afford that. They're going to have to move out. After 22 years, I just didn't think of ever, you know, moving again at, at 68 years old. Our follow-up questions for management have been ignored. In an email, the PR firm told us MEB has no additional comment. Vertical Street Ventures just this month purchased its fifth apartment complex in the Tucson area, the Equinox on Prince. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kboa.com or call our tip line 520-955-4444. Rebecca Taylor, News 4 Tucson.